Hi guys, so welcome to another beer review, and today we've got another beer from Brandy's Brow Garage, coming out of uh, Wallersdorf here in Germany. And this is the Lady Killer Pale Ale. Now, um, just uh, wanted to address something about my review of the Tropical Sun IPA, uh, which I re-uploaded fairly recently. Um, when I revisited that video, I didn't realise how like cloudy and murky the beer was until you know people commented because I very rarely look back at my own reviews, which you know, I probably should do. But um, yeah, I haven't tried it recently. I don't think um, so. I'm not too sure if it's changed a little bit. I mean, it's, it was a really good beer, uh, but I know some people could potentially be a bit put off by the you know the murkiness of it. But um, I think. Uh, Johan and everyone involved in Brandy's Brow Garage have come a long way since then because I initially reviewed that early last year and I think they've uh, upgraded their operation and are working on a much bigger scale than before and uh, yeah so I was in Beretta and I thought you know what I've not tried one of Brandy Brandy's Brow Garage beers for quite a while I mean uh, when I was at the festival uh, earlier this year, um, for one of the days I was uh, working as a runner for the Brandy's Brow Garage tent, and uh, I did get to try a couple of beers like every now and then, and like towards the end of the evening. And uh, I think um, you know I was the bumbling, clumsy British idiot. So uh, Johan and everyone else at the festival in general was so you know, patient with me and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it was a damn good time, and it really popular. Um, every time I was there, there were people there, you know, queuing up to try some of the beers. And like I said, this one I think I did try while I was there, and I really, really enjoyed it. But because it's summer, um, I thought, you know, it's IPA pale ale season. I mean, I like to have lagers and pilsners and that sort of thing. I mean, any beer, you know, any time works for me. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd try something a bit summery. And this is Brandy's Brow Garage. Lady Killer Pale Ale and uh, really nice looking labels. I think they've changed their labeling system now uh, But yeah, really nicely presented nice and bold and then you've got the crown the Really nice logo, but yeah beautifully presented beer comes in a 500 milliliter bottle and this is clocking in at 5.5 percent So let's get this beer opened and poured and uh, Bottle caps on the floor. A uh, little bit of carbonation. Can't really see it too much in this light. Um, yeah, I'm sat at a different angle, as you can clearly tell. But on the aroma, really nice pale ale. Quite subtle, actually, in the neck. It's got like a sort of creamy sort of aroma as well. And I'm detecting cucumber, but um, I was just helping out in the kitchen with some cucumber, and uh, I've got it on my fingers, so as you can hear, frying going on. But yeah, it smells good in the neck. Let's see what it actually smells like in the glass. Now, a few hours ago, prior to recording this video, I uh, tried the um, Tuols Goza to Hollywood which was like a real attack on the taste buds. So thankfully, you know, my taste buds have settled now and hopefully it won't, you know, impeach any um, flavours in this beer. But yeah, beer in a glass, poured that with a little bit of an aggressive head, about two fingers worth of, I'd say, fluffy white head. You've got a combination of bigger bubbles and more compact bubbles, but it's quite a resilient head. But again, I think that's just down to my pouring. And beer in a glass is a really nice golden, hazy sort of colour. Slight orange hues. Um, it looks a little bit more on like a, a lager sort of side as opposed to a pale ale. But, you know, you could easily identify as a pale ale. So I don't mean any disrespect with that. But yeah, nice amounts of carbonation. Not too active. But uh, yeah, a very pretty beer indeed in the glass. So, on the aroma, let me just try and swivel it about a bit. I'm getting like just very 
you know, basic, hoppy, pale ale sort of aromas. But yeah, there's, there's like that, again, that like lactose sort of quality there as well. But yeah, really nice and subtle. Uh, it's not, you know, an aroma bomb by any stretch. But yeah, nice, subtle, more fruitier sort of characteristics as opposed to like a, a bitter grapefruit sort of aroma. Yeah, you're getting stuff like mango, maybe a bit of papaya. Slight hint of like an avocado maybe. Pineapple, those sort of like fruity, juicy, tropical fruits. It smells really good, it smells really nice. So, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Mouthfeel. Um, it's not got the the most... Um, it's not got the biggest of mouthfeels, as to be said. It is rather on the light side. But it isn't watery. And that carbonation helps that thin body along really nicely. It goes down a treat. It just fizzles away almost instantly, leaving you salvating in the mouth. It's definitely a lot more bitter on the flavour than you would detect in the aroma. And really nice, subtle bitterness on the back end. Sometimes with pale ales, uh, those hops just take full control. But you've got a really nice, solid malt base there that is detectable. So it's not completely overridden by hops. Because as much as I love hoppy beers, every now and then you want something a little bit different. Instead of just tasting those, like, those hoppy flavours that you sometimes get accustomed to. Yep, really nice and sessionable. Uh, the body actually helps in that regard. 5.5%. You're not really going to detect any alcohol anyway. And uh, yeah, it's it's a perfect summer drink. Um, in terms of uh, the beer itself, in terms of style, it's not the greatest pale ale that I've ever tried. Don't get me wrong. But it's a really nice, simple, straightforward Pale ale, it's definitely more than just the run of a mill sort of affair because sometimes you get these pale ales that are nice, refreshing, but they really don't have any flavour and they're just like you can just knock it back. You can knock this back really easily, but you do actually get really nice flavours. And for the summer months, this is a perfect beer. And uh, yeah, it tastes really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this one. Maybe a slight sort of sherbet sort of flavour there as well. A little bit of like maybe a slight lemony sort of vibe. But yeah, not the most complex of pale ales. Really nice, simple, straightforward, easy drinkable. And uh, yeah, in terms of a rating, I can easily give this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, really, really solid beer. Um, and yeah, I'm glad that I picked this one up because it's really doing the job on a day like this. But yeah, perfect. It's going to go with every cuisine, pretty much. Uh, perfect for barbecue, grilling meats. Um, I'd imagine it would go well with like a fish dish, uh, salads, that sort of thing. It's going to accompany pretty much any cuisine. And it's also got enough flavour and character there to be just drunk and enjoyed on its own. So, if you want to find out more about this beer and uh, Brandy's Brow Garage, then links are down below. Uh, check out my um, Tropical um, IPA. I think I butchered the Tropical Sun IPA that I did. Um, if I can get my hands on that, I'm going to revisit it, see if it has changed. And uh, yeah, look out for a lot more reviews from Brandy's Brow Garage in the future. So yeah, uh, what's your favourite pale ales? What's your favourite um, German beers? Um, I would like to note that at this point, I'm not too sure uh, what's going on in terms of export. Um, I'm not sure if 
Um, that's even on the horizon right now. Um, but I'm sure if um, anyone involved at Brandy's Brow Garage is watching this, they can let me know so I can let you guys know. Because uh, I had quite a few people interested in the Tropical Sun IPA, wondering if they could get their hands on it and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, really solid example of Bavarian craft beer. And uh, yeah, great people involved as well because I've you know, met them and I've... You know, spent time with them, and uh, yeah, I look forward to trying more of the beers in the future. So, thank you guys for watching and sitting through me waffle on. And uh, yeah, I hope whatever you're drinking, you're enjoying it and you're enjoying it responsibly. And until the next time, see you guys later. And I was supposed to pick up the glass.